Well, a few days after federal agents raided the Safe Streets office in the Bel Air Edison neighborhood, forcing the program to suspend operations, we're learning more about a former staffer facing criminal charges. This charging document reveals who FBI agents were searching for when they converged at a home on the 2400 block of Kermit Court in Baltimore on Thursday morning. 37 year old David Caldwell, the target of the warrant. We now know the FBI probe led investigators to the home of the Safe Streets worker. Court records show Baltimore police and federal agents recovered a handgun with nine live rounds, narcotics packaging materials, plus photos and mail addressed to Caldwell. Four people were present during the search of the property, including two juveniles. Charging documents indicate a woman inside the house claimed Caldwell was away on a business trip. This happening on the same day WJZ reported agents raided the Safe Streets Bel Air Edison office. The investigation reigniting debates about the Safe Streets program through Mayor Brandon Scott's Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement, modeled back in 2007, aimed at reducing gun violence and de escalating disputes. What I directed the police department to do is to hold any and everybody accountable for wrongdoing, no matter who they are. You may remember just last year, a Safe Street staffer was among three killed in a shooting on Monument and Port Streets. Our media partner, the Baltimore Banner, reporting operations have been suspended at the Bel Air Edison location of Safe Streets, and Caldwell was charged with illegally possessing ammunition. Two other staffers were placed on leave following the raid on Bel Air Road.